What's up everyone, welcome to the video, my name is Alex Osborne and welcome to my channel. This is a special video today because it is the first in a new monthly series that I'm going to be doing from now on called WWE Flashback. I'm going to be revisiting some of my favourite matches in WWE history and in this video we are going to be revisiting John Cena vs Edge in a TLC match at Unforgiven 2006 for the WWE Championship. Now just before I get started talking about the match we're going to put the feud into context. So the feud began really at New Year's Revolution 2006. Then WWE Champion John Cena had just defended his title in a gruelling Elimination Chamber match. This is actually one of my favourite chamber matches in history and one I most certainly will revisit at some point in the future in this series. Following the chamber match, Mr McMahon came out with a microphone and stated that a certain individual was going to be cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. This individual was of course Edge. It's worth mentioning here that this is the very first Money in the Bank cash-in and it's iconic to this day. This really blew the internet up at the time. It was very exciting. It really took Edge's career up a notch. So Edge handed Mr McMahon the briefcase, walked down to the ring, delivered a couple of spears to Cena and became the brand new WWE Champion. This led to Edge becoming one of the most watched WWE Champions in history. It led to, of course, the now infamous live sex celebration with Lita on Monday Night Raw. That's probably going to get wiped now with the Peacock changes coming to the network. However, Cena would win back the title later that same month at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view by making Edge tap out to the STFU. The feud then didn't really reignite until June of 2006 when John Cena was defending his title against Rob Van Dam at ECW One Night Stand. During the match, a man in a motorcycle helmet speared Cena through a table which allowed RVD to pick up the win and the championship. That was revealed to be Edge when he took off the helmet to the absolute delight of the ECW faithful. The next month on Raw, Edge won the WWE Championship in a triple threat match between himself, RVD and John Cena on an edition of Monday Night Raw. This led to John Cena and Edge feuding once again and they faced each other at SummerSlam 2006 in John Cena's hometown, however Edge defended this time successfully. After SummerSlam is when we saw the debut of the Rated R Spinner Belt. This is really one of the favourites among belt collectors, I would love to get my hands on a replica version of it at some point, however they're not currently on WWE Euroshop. Lita threw Cena's spinner belt into the Long Island Sound, and later that night, Cena threw Edge himself into the Long Island Sound, which is a fantastic segment looking back at it, and I'm pretty sure Edge has since said that he was actually sick for a week due to what was in that water. Anyway, this all ultimately culminated in a match at Unforgiven 2006, where Edge would defend his WWE Championship against John Cena in Canada. Cena really had to goad Edge to get to this match. Edge got to pick the stipulation, which is why it ended up being a tables, ladders and chairs match. The pay-per-view took place in Canada, which of course is Edge's home country, and Cena also agreed that if he lost the match, he would sign a lifetime contract with SmackDown. This would of course mean that if Edge retained the title, Cena would be shipped off to SmackDown, Edge would remain on Raw, and the two would be out of each other's hair. Now we all know why Edge chose a TLC match. He is a tables, ladders and chairs specialist, and I believe this was John Cena's first TLC match. If I'm wrong there, someone please correct me in the comments, but I believe it was Cena's first TLC match. So essentially the scales were heavily tipped in Edge's favour. So now we get to Unforgiven 2006. Edge made his entrance first, which is unlike the champion. I think JR referenced this on commentary by saying that Edge kind of engineered this situation so he could get the hometown advantage first, get the crowd really behind him. So then when Cena would make his entrance second, he would be really intimidated. It was really strange at the time to see such a pro-Edge crowd. Of course, he was a dirty, conniving, opportunistic heel at the time. He was booed out of the arena and everywhere he went. But of course, this was Canada. This was his home country. The roof came off the place when Edge made his entrance as the WWE Champion. And you could see, just as the belt was being lifted up before the start of the match, the emotion in Edge's face. He actually looked like, briefly, that he was about to cry. I'm not going to break the match down minute by minute. I'm just going to go through some of my favourite spots and then kind of talk about my opinion on the match in general. Now, this was a brutal TLC match, one of the best in WWE history, in my opinion, and it definitely suited this feud. As I'm sure many of you would agree, the Cena Edge feud was one of the best, if not the best feud in 2006. One of the most memorable spots quite early Early on was when Cena was kind of draped over the second rope as if he was going to receive a 619 and Edge was outside of the ring and there was a ladder just kind of leaning up against Cena and Edge dropped kicked the ladder into Cena's face now this is one of those spots it looked brutal but you've really got to get it right we all remember the incident with Joey Mercury in the past with a ladder which absolutely busted his nose wide open we don't need reminding of that this was one of those spots of course it didn't go wrong like that but it looked brilliant. One of the best spots of this match, and again I think one of the best spots in TLC history, doesn't get mentioned enough because of how the match ended, which we'll get to later, 
where there was a point where John Cena had climbed the ladder, he was about 16 feet in the air, was reaching up to grab the WWE Championship, and Lita slid into the ring, and she pushed Cena. This ladder just tilted and tilted and tilted, and Cena went flying off the ladder outside the ring and through a table, which was outside the ring. It looked brutal. You could see the table snap, and there was a sharp piece sticking up just by John Cena's arm. It is one of my favourite spots. This all happened while Edge was laying outside the ring. Lita went to his aid, dragged him up and was screaming at him, come on, come on, climb the ladder, the title's yours, the match is won. Edge then slid back into the ring and began to set up the ladder to win the match. Of course, we all know what happened from there, so let me picture the scene. There was a ladder right in the middle of the ring that Edge has just set up so he can climb and grab the title. Next to the ladder was a table on top of another table. This culminated in both Edge and John Cena being at the top of this very tall ladder. Ultimately, we know what happened. John Cena picked Edge up onto his shoulders and then FU'd him off the top of the ladder through both tables. It was absolutely brutal, one of the most iconic spots in TLC history, and this allowed Cena to grab the spinner belt. One really subtle thing that I love about the ending of this match is Cena's face and the camera zooming in on Cena's face. You can just see he looks so almost distraught. He's just won the WWE Championship. You would assume he'd be elated, but no. You can see in his face, he really didn't want to have to do what he just did. It's one of the few brutal things we'd seen from Cena at this point. Of course, it was 2006, so still quite early in Cena's career, and he hadn't really been pushed to the limit that often. Even after everything that had happened with the pair, with Edge being the first person to cash in the money in the bank on a vulnerable Cena to win the title, to Edge slapping Cena's dad in his own home, you could still see in Cena's face, he really didn't want to have to go that far. It was almost anger and frustration that he'd had to, but ultimately he won the championship back and it was just a really nice subtle touch I thought there from Cena. And Cena versus Edge is definitely one of my favourite feuds of all time. It's the absolute typical babyface versus heel dynamic, Cena being the ultimate babyface and Edge being the ultimate heel. This was of course the first time Edge won a world title when he won the WWE title off Cena at New Year's Revolution and it really kind of showed the management in the back of what he was capable of, that he really was a true main eventer. And they've always played off each other so well, like I say the chemistry in ring is very important, the characters are perfect, I mean later down the line Edge and Cena feuded again in 2009 I believe it was and there was a fantastic promo that Edge cut on Cena where he was just saying, I hate you. I hate everything that you stand for. I hate your hat, I hate your shirts, I hate your wristbands. I hate absolutely everything that John Cena represents. And it's a really underrated promo and it, it doesn't get talked about enough. So Cena vs Edge at Unforgiven 2006 is, in my opinion, one of the best TLC matches in WWE history. I think it's probably the best match that Cena and Edge have ever had in WWE. They've obviously had some fantastic matches elsewhere, thinking of the last man standing match at Backlash as well, that was a really good one. There are many memorable moments about this feud, such as the first ever Money in the Bank cash-in, Cena FUing Edge off of the ladder through two tables, Edge slapping Cena's dad. If you ever actually get a chance to see it, behind the scenes of kind of that segment at Cena's house was hilarious because John Cena's dad just like really threw himself in it and was really overly acting and it was really bad, but it was very funny. I think their feud really kind of personified the ruthless aggression era. That is the era that I grew up watching wrestling with, so this feud is really close to my heart. You know how much I love Edge from my first video. You can see here I'm repping my old school John Cena t-shirt, the one he actually wore at Unforgiven 2006. Not the literal shirt, I just mean the, the design. And when you think about 2006 in WWE, you think about Cena vs Edge, you think about that feud. It was brilliant, I recommend that match to anyone at Unforgiven and any of their matches really, especially some of the promos that they cut on each other. So of course, I recommend this match to you guys. If you've never seen it before, go and check out Cena vs Edge at Unforgiven 2006, whether it be on the WWE Network or Peacock now if you're in the United States. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. This is going to be a monthly series that I do from now on. If there's a match you want me to talk about in the future in a match flashback video, please let me know in the comments down below, whether it's one of your favorites, one you think's underrated, one you think is one of the best of all time. Let me know, I'll share my opinion on it. This one, I didn't go into too much detail about my opinion because it's just, it, it, we all know it's a fantastic match. It's a brilliant match and it was a solid one to start the series. Thank you once again to everyone who's watched this video or any of the videos on my channel. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, it would really help me out. And I'll see you all again in next week's video. Cheers.